Medical misinformation is everywhere. Dr. Mitch is here for straight talk and to give you the truth. Forever chemicals, also known as per- and polyfluoroalkyl substances, and we often know them as PFAS, well, they're a group of human-made chemicals that are resistant to degradation in the environment. Hi, I'm Dr. Mitch Gann, and I want to go over some of these things that are important to eliminate or to be aware of, especially when you're clinically treating different patients throughout the country. Now, these PUFAs are a class of chemicals used in as many as 88% of household products, especially those that have a non-stick component, a stain resistant and perhaps a water resistant treatment. PUFAs have been widely used because of the unique properties, including this water, oil resistant and heat resistance and the stick properties. Forever chemicals have been found and persist pretty much. They don't break down. They accumulate in our water. They accumulate in the soil and even living organisms begin to take them up. PFASs have been detected in human exposure. These chemicals occur through ingestion, inhalation, or just plain skin contact. Forever chemicals can cause developmental and reproductive issues, liver damage, immune system damage, dysfunction pretty much to any organ system, and even increase the risk of cancer. So the thing is, if we're aware about these, what can we do about them? Well, we have to identify first where they are present and avoid them. Now, there are several blood tests that can be used to assess P PFAs, exposure, and potential health effects. And these tests can help measure the levels of PFAs, compounds in the blood, and evaluate any associated risk that you might have. And here are some of the commonly used blood tests that we can use for figuring out. Well, there is a test called Total PFAS. This test um, basically measures the concentration of PFASs in the blood. Now, there are target-specific uh, PFAS compounds such as uh, 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 perfluorooctanoic acid or plur uh, perfluorooctane sulfonate, and these tests can determine the level of individual PFAs in compound the blood. But in absence of doing these special tests, one of the things we can look at are the liver tests, the ALT and the AST. When they are elevated, these two liver tests, and you're not really overly clear what it's coming from, you've done uh, pretty much a great history, you've examined that patient, you've gone ahead and certainly have looked at you know any other possibility, including ultrasounds to make sure they don't have uh, liver um, fat in infiltration, then you have to start considering you know what this could be. Well, the lipid profile on PFAs uh, compounds have also been found to accumulate in the blood, lipids, the fats. Kidney function uh, can be bothered too, the BUN and creatinine. And of course, other than avoidance, uh, use of both oral and natural substances that support phase one, two, and three liver detoxification should be clearly in your vocabulary and thought process to get rid of these. Remember, if you don't use these typical products, you know, you won't have problems. You need to tell patients and, of course, for yourself and families, get rid of the nonstick cookware, water repellent clothing, stain resistant fabrics, and particularly foods that are packaged with materials that have this. Uh, stay away from uh, landfill and waste sites, they are contaminated. And that might contain, you know, firefighting foam landfills as well. Certain types of shellfish and other seafood may contain elevated levels of PFAs due to this accumulation into our body or accumulation there as well. What I'm saying is they're, they're basically pervasive. They're everywhere. You've got to be aware of them. Your patients are getting them and they will and can affect pretty much most of the organ systems and the things that you're trying to treat with whatever methods that you're working with.
without consideration for these, you may have a difficulty getting to the point of gaining optimal health for these individuals. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Mitch Gen. For further information, go to drmitchgen.com. That's D-R-M-I-T-C-H-G-H-E-N.com.